you ever asked yourself, why do the lights turn on when I flip a switch? Can quizzes ever be fun with science involved? Well, today we're going to show you what really happens when you flip a switch and turn on the lights, and we'll show you through a fun quiz. So here it's a quiz board, but it's not just a quiz board. It's, uh, this quiz board has some magic. So uh, if you get the right answer, the light bulb will go off. Uh, for example, who uh, who invented the light bulb? Uh, let us try the is that the uh, the Wright brothers. Oh, the answer is no. So, who invented that? So, it uh, was it the Thomason? Oh, here we go. We got that answer. All right. So, how does this quiz board work? Well, we know that in order to make a circuit, you need a power source. We have a battery underneath this. It's in the back. And we have a light bulb here connected with wires, and there's tin foil underneath this yellow paper, so that when you connect the right answer to the right question, you complete the circuit and the light comes on. Let's do our Thomas Edison example again. We have the light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison, and it completes the circuit and the light comes on. Okay, so um, what this resembles is what we already said is a circuit. What is a circuit? It is a path that electricity travels through, and um, a circuit could be either open or closed. Right now, the bulb, the light bulb, is at an open circuit, so it doesn't light up. Um, so therefore, no electricity is traveling anywhere because there's no connected path, or the path is open. Now, when we close the path, either like this, where the electricity is traveling from this um, cord to this cord, or like this, using the um, example of the light bulb again, the circuit is now closed because the electricity is traveling from this to this through a thin foil. So when a circuit is closed, the electricity or the electrons can now travel from the battery to the light bulb and back to the battery again, which lights up the light bulb. So what light switches do is that they close the circuit when you flip them up and open the circuit when you flip them down. So how did we make this quiz board? It looks so complicated, right? Well, not really. All it took was some planning and a handful of everyday items you can find around the house. Items like a pair of scissors, duct tape, aluminum foil, a battery, crocodile clips, some wire, a small light bulb, as well as a handful of paper clips, and of course, cardboard. The first thing we did was tape strips of the foil onto the cardboard. The foil is what connects the correct answer to each question, so we had to keep track of where we were putting each piece. We made sure to mark the ends of each tinfoil strip so that we knew where to connect them to the wires with the paper clips later on. After the foil was on, we needed to attach a battery to the board so that it would have a source of electricity to make the board work. We then made a hole for the light bulb and connected it and the battery to a pair of wires to act as a probe for the quiz board. We then pierced our paper clips through the X's we marked to check that the tinfoil worked. Finally, we added a set of stands for our board to rest flat and off the ground. After that, it was a matter of covering the board with some nice paper and adding the quiz choices. So here are the quiz choices. Do you know who invented the airplane, the phone, the light bulb, the computer, and the steam engine? Your choices are Charles Babbage, Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers, Alexander Graham Bell, and James Watt. We already told you that the light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison, but who invented the steam engine? Was it Charles Babbage, Alexander Graham Bell, the Wright brothers, or James Watt? I'll give you a moment. If you guessed James Watt, then you are right. Let's check the answer quickly. Cool, so the steam engine was invented by James Watt, but what about the first telephone? Was it Charles Babbage, Alexander Graham Bell, or the Wright brothers? Well, let's find that out for ourselves. Alexander Graham Bell invented the first telephone. Now here's a tricky one. Who invented the first mechanical computer? It's down to two choices. Was it Charles Babbage or the Wright brothers? Let's find out.
Charles Babbage. Okay, hardest question coming up. Who invented the airplane? Was it the Wright brothers or was it... Okay, yeah, it was the Wright brothers. Thanks for playing our quiz board. <laughs>